This is the one that everybody's heard of, ipilimumab. So I was quite happy when we split the talk that I got ipilimumab. So I thought for most people, this is a drug that they've probably heard of and are pretty excited about. So what is this horrendous word that's difficult to pronounce? So the word MAB, for anyone just listening, stands for, you'll see a lot of these drugs that end in the word MAB, it stands for monoclonal antibody, or basically an antibody we've engineered that uh, targets something in the body. So that's what the word MAB means. So why is this drug so important? Well, patients with stage four melanoma have a very poor prognosis, even up until just recently, in 2010. Despite decades of research, trials and lots of trials, chemotherapy, all other kinds of agents, the median survival time was less than 10 months. Survival between beyond five years, approximately 10%. And when I say metastatic, for those of you maybe not familiar with the term, I mean melanoma that's had a chance either to recur from pri after primary surgery or where at the time we diagnosed the melanoma, it's already had an opportunity to spread to organs. So the only two agents approved by the FDA were DTIC and interleukin-2. And these are agents that were approved uh, in the era probably, I would say, before clinical trials were required for the approval process. So historically, these have been the only two agents. Interleukin-2, a very small group of physicians are, are capable of giving it because you basically need intensive uh, monitoring like in an ICU setting. Uh, Dr. Smiley does use the medication in Edmonton. I don't think we use it in British Columbia right now. So what is ipilimumab? So first I'm going to introduce this thing called CTLA-4, which stands for cytotoxic uh, T lymphocyte antigen 4, blah, blah, blah. Fancy word. I would say that th what this is, is the brakes on the immune system. So what is ipilimumab? It's an antibody which attaches to this CTLA-4, or it attaches to the brakes on the immune system, turns the brakes off, and what you get is activation of the immune system. So this is the guy we're talking about up here, ipilimumab. And it's binding to this thing called CTLA-4, which if you think of any sort of cell in the body has a variety of little projections, almost like lock and key type things, where based on the signals they receive from other parts of the body, uh, a little thing will bind to the cell and tell it to do something. So in the case of, a, of an immune cell, like a T cell, this CTLA-4 turns it off we attach ipilimumab to the CTLA-4, it turns the CTLA-4 off and allows the T cell to become activated. So this is a bad guy. So what we have is a T cell and it gets angry, which is an immune cell, and it attacks the cancer cell and wipes it out. So that's the theory. Ipilimumab hopefully uh, will, not just for melanoma, but for a variety of other cancers, unlock the immune system, which we know has tremendous capacity to fight all kinds of different things. Infections, cancer, 